Let us have a look at the contents of Brimmerhaven. It is one to four players, 60 to 120 minutes. I'm assuming it's basically two to four players with a one player variant. And then time is probably half an hour per player with that kind of stats. Um, age is 12 plus, not the ages really matter, honestly. Yeah, play solo, it's got some kind of solo variant. Uh, Brimmerhaven is a strategy game for experienced gamers with simple and intuitive core rules, but generates a lot of interesting decisions. There are so many things you would like to do, but you can only do so much. Sounds like most of your games right now. Uh, one of the core elements of this game is to play your five infant cards most efficiently every round. The other core element is to time management of your incoming and outgoing ship and contract cards. Proper synchronization of these cards is what you need to score high and win the game. At the end of the game, you will multiply your money and prestige to determine your final score. Interesting. Rather full feeling box. It is rather full. No insert at all. Um, don't know if I have any other games by You Play It or Lookout Spiel. So I don't know how their inserts are normally, but there is nothing. Which is fine, I baggy. Well, they have, they have baggies anyway. But the instructions got unfortunately a little bit better. Well, that's whatever. The instructions. We'll look at those in a bit. We have a ton of cards labeled 1. That's an advertisement. Okay. Uh, so looking at the components here. There are 48 influence cards, uh, there are cover cards, ship cards, contract cards, building cards, price cards, newspaper cards, and short game special edition cards. So that's going to be all these cards here. Gyoko Brevi. I don't know what that means. Uh, there is this, which is... I don't know. One wooden ship token? Or one... Oh, that's probably, that might be the newspaper rack. Yeah. Oh, the components are shown on the page. Ho, 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 ho! Ha, ha! Um... Yeah, I'm assuming that's the, the newspaper rack, I guess. Baggies. Uh, player pieces. Markers. A little tiny boat there as well. A whole bunch of little clips. Or five little clips. One for each player, I'm assuming. Uh, we have punch boards that are already punched. We have player boards, uh, which are little dockyards. I quite like the uh, the cute little artwork on here. It's nice looking. Open dockyards, got some ships and stuff on that side. Or, well, places for ships to go. Uh, we have tons of various tokens. And this guy, don't know what that is. We have tons of money, probably. We have tons of other dockyard pieces. We have more money and more dockyard pieces. We have more money. We have lighthouses and dockyard pieces. We have little black things. We have more dock pieces. And then in the bottom, a tiny, tiny man. Say hello, tiny man. He's not going to, is he? Say hello, tiny man. Hello, tiny man. <laughs> Boom. You can go back in the box. All right. So, what did we see today? Um, we saw all the stuff, it looks like. 160 odd goods. A whole bunch of prep. Is there a little objective thing? Overview of the game, managing harbor. Yeah, it just looks like a little uh, management your game, managing your harbor. I think it's been kind of. It's like Le Havre almost but more focused on the land side of things. Looks interesting, excited to try it out. I've always wanted to be a German dockyard worker. 